What was it about this small economy, barely two tenths of a percentage point of Eurozone EU GDP, that's caused this problem? Well, this is the number. This is the percentage of GDP of bank credit. In other words, the domestic credit lent by the banks. Germany, 124% of GDP has been lent out. France, 133%. Greece now down at 153. It was clearly much, much higher. Ireland peaked at 440 and is now down at 225. And Cyprus, 330% of GDP as a percentage of domestic credit. In other words, they are banks there have been churning and lending and churning and lending. The only thing that comes higher than that was I Iceland back in the height of the Iceland crisis which peaked at 980 percent. But even so, that gives you an idea of why this is so important. On the map you will see exactly the bailouts that we've seen so far. Down at Cyprus you can see the assets of the banking sector, 8% GDP. This is, an, this is a, an island where banking became rampant and out of control. 30% of deposits are in non-euros. In other words, that's Russian money. But look at the other bailouts. This is the interesting bit. You have Greece down here, you have Ireland here, you've got Portugal, and we've added in Spain, because Spain, of course, had a bank recapitalization bailout, and in not one of these other bailouts has there been any question, not one, of depositors' money being touched, except for Cyprus. And that is why it's been so significant.